word, we're going to go to the book of Hebrews 11, which the theme is today on this 11th anniversary here at Agape Worldwide Ministry. Praise God. It's just a spirit in here that's so sweet. It's a sweet spirit in here. Praise God. And I'm glad about it. So I know we're in the right place. Hebrews 11.1 1 says, now. Somebody say now. Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things that are not seen. Somebody want to know what faith is. Well, I can describe it. I can describe it, but you, you really know what it is once you live it once you live it and you've been through it. But faith means being sure of the things we hope for and knowing that something is real even if we do not see it. Ah, that's something. Being sure of the things we hope for. You might have hoped for something, ah, but knowing, knowing that something is real even if we don't see it. Because the Bible does tell us we walk by faith and not by sight. We don't always, we never go by what we always see because, uh, you know, your eyes can fool you. Your eyes can tell you one thing. Oh, but the word of God will tell you another. And for one thing, for sure, we need faith. Uh, we are sitting here in this sanctuary by faith right now. By faith, by faith, by faith. Things, uh, you didn't know what was going to happen when you got here, but you knew you would come to expect something, expecting God to do his thing, expecting to give God the glory, expecting, for, you can be seated, expecting for something to happen. Ah, uh, you are sitting here in those chairs as you just sit down. You didn't think that that chair wasn't going to hold you up. You knew if you sit down in that chair, you were going to be seated seated. Things are not going to happen by our money. Things are not going to happen by what titles we carry. Things are not going to happen about how we do our works. It's faith. It's faith. It's something that you do not see, but you hope for it. So I believe that's what keeps us going because the Bible said it is by the just shall live by Faith, faith, faith. My title, if I had a title, I would say uh, a little brings a lot. Uh, make no mistakes because, Pastor, it's time to celebrate. Make no mistake. It's time to celebrate. Uh, we live in a world that's, that's looking for something to have faith in, something to have confidence in. Uh, we can find ourselves having faith in our family our friends, our jobs, our cars, even our money, you know. Uh, I could go on and on, but faith is simply having trust in something or someone. Uh, when we have faith in that thing or that person, we look for that insurance that no matter what happens, Minister Lewis, we can count on that to go through for us. Uh, we start to believe it so much uh, that it won't let us down. And all of a sudden, that very thing uh, or that person we had faith in let us down. I know I'm talking talking good right now. Ah, uh, but it did not come through for you. That very thing you had confidence in, that person you might have thought was going to come through, but they did not. Ah, uh, we find ourselves upset. We can find ourselves disappointed. Uh, I know because I've been through it, been there, done that, still going through it. I can find myself getting angry uh, because we had faith in that very thing and that, that worked out for us. Some folks have faith in horoscopes. Some folks have um, faith in palm reading. Some folks have faith in, 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 in people looking fortune tellers, which I want to remind somebody here today, that's witchcraft, just in case. You know, they got palm reader places all over the place. People want to look into your future. People want to um, read through that ball or look at the lines in your hand, but that's actually witchcraft. 
life. Ah, uh, we have faith when we sit down in a chair. We talked about that early. Ah, uh, we believe that that chair will hold us. We don't even think twice about it. Ah, uh, we have faith when we go on our jobs. As long as we show up, we know we're going to get paid if we push push the punch clock. Uh-huh, uh-huh. But this verse here in the text says, right now. Uh, it's a reason why now is in front of faith because faith is not a thing that you could just have, um, you know, um, whenever. You got to have it right now. You got to step out like right now because it says now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things that are not seen. Uh, it talks about right now faith. Uh, I want to talk about substance because that word substance kept coming to my mind when I was studying this and, and I said let me look up substance. The word substance, it's a particular kind of a matter. Uh, the real physical matter which a person or thing consists which has a tangible, tangible, solid present. In other words, in other words, substance is something that's solid. Substance is something tangible. It's something that I can work with. It's something that will show me that it's going to get better, something tangible. And that's how our faith should be as a believer in Christ. Uh, it should be tangible. It should be something solid. It should be a matter. It should be something that I can um, um, depend on and rely on, tangible, reaching out and believing even though I don't see it. Uh, I do believe it because Jesus said, you know, Jesus said if we had the faith the size, not the size, but as a grain of a mustard seed, and if you all know what a house big a mustard seed is you can hardly see a mustard seed and he said that's all the faith we need to walk this Christian walk that's all the faith we need to go through whatever we got to go to ah do you know that's all the faith we need the grain of a mustard seed uh, it's not that big and that's all the faith we need uh, you t you can tell that mountain with that mustard seed of faith, you got to get out of my way. I don't care what the problem is, but the mustard seed of faith can tell that mountain to get up out of your way. It doesn't matter what the problem looks like. If you can just believe just a little bit and know that God is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think. According to the power that worketh in us, a mustard seed. Jesus said it. I didn't say it, but the word of God said it. So we can tell that mountain to move. It got to go. No one can live a single life without exercising your faith. It's just like when we go to the gym. And we want to build up our, the men want to build their six packs or the women want to build up their abs or whatever. We have to exercise and it's a daily walk. It's a daily thing you have to do every day. Oh, so you can't go without exercising your faith, especially how it is out here in this world today. We got to have faith and we got to exercise it. Faith got to be exercised. Everybody places his and her faith in something. Do you know the Muslims place their faith in the Quran and in Muhammad? Ah, uh, the, the humanities, the humanists puts their faith in themselves. Different religions. A religious person in his own good works put their faith in their good works. But you know none of these can save because each case the object of faith is wrong. Our faith is only as good as the object in which we place our faith. We are told in the Bible that we are to personally put our faith 
and trust in the Lord Jesus Christ. Ah, uh, the Bible goes on and says uh, that with faith, the worlds were framed by the word of God. Nothing was made without God, but the worlds were framed by the word of God so that things which are seen were not made of things which do appear. Praise God, because it goes on to say, neither is there salvation in other, in any other. For there is none other name under heaven given among men, whereby we must be saved. We can go out there and try to think that we're doing things on our own, but it's the Lord Jesus Christ, and we got to have that faith. Faith is the substance. It's part of things hoped for when we hope for something. It's a desire of expectations. Have you ever hoped for something like, a, you know, a new dress, a new pair of shoes, and you didn't walk past that window all them times, but you know deep down inside, you're going to get it. You don't know when, but you know you're going to end up getting it just like that car. You know you're going to get it just like that house. Sometimes you know you just you just picture yourself in that dress. You can picture yourself in that new car and eventually you end up getting You strive to go at it. That's how it is with faith and believing in God. We got to strive each and every day. No matter come hell or high water, we got to walk by faith and not by sight. Ah, uh, it's a desire of expectation. Knowing if I follow God, if I stay in the word, no weapon formed against me shall prosper. If I just hold on a little longer, that loved one going to get saved. I'm expecting something God because your word said you would never leave me nor forsake me expectations with faith you can expect something with faith you know something got to come through hallelujah because God is in it ah expectations of fulfillment for evidence which is clear proof of things ah that's not even seen Though I don't see it, Lord, yeah, but with you all things are possible. Some things are possible with man, but all things are possible with God. With God. Uh, tell somebody, a little brings a lot. It just takes a little bit of faith. It's going to bring a lot, though. Anytime you can tell a mountain it got to go, and you got a little bit of faith, and it's gone. Can't be nobody but God. Oh, he's worthy to be praised. He's worthy. Evidence. Ah, God, you're showing me some things. Things that I don't even see it yet, Lord. But I know you're going to bring it. That job, God, I don't see it yet. But I see myself behind that desk. I see myself with that application being approved, God. I see it. I see it. So I'm going to keep on walking. And you can't tell me it ain't going to happen. Because I'm walking by faith. I'm walking by faith. It's my walk that means something. Hallelujah. I'm walking by faith, expecting something. Praise God. Oh, praise God. You know, when we have faith, we have to believe and because without faith, the word says it's impossible. It's no way we can please God. Without faith, we got to believe that who he is. And, and he's the awesome God. And he's a rewarder. He rewards. Ain't you glad God rewards? If we diligently seek him. So it's something to that. So we got to diligently seek him. Ah, uh, somebody just needs a mustard seed of faith to carry them through. Somebody may ask, well, what does faith, how does it come? I'm glad you asked. Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. You got to come and hear. 
you're going through some things. Well, come and hear something different. Come and hear a way out of it. Come and just hear how God wants to comfort you. You got to come and get the faith. And you got to hear it, though. See, it's, it's something about this word. It could be a mystery, but it could be, it just puts things all together. And it lets you know that, okay, God, if I do it this way, this is going to happen. And it's something about God's word. When his word go forth, he can always back it up. He can back his word up. So we got to keep on coming. Ah, faith comes by hearing, hearing by the word of God. God's word say we got to have faith because we are proved to be right by faith. We're justified by faith. Therefore, being right by faith, we have peace with God. Ah, that peace that passes all understanding. Hallelujah. Although I will do our Lord Jesus Christ, it takes faith to move God. It takes faith to get God's undivided attention. Ah, tell somebody, a little brings a lot. A little brings a lot. Ah, it reminds me of the faith when Jesus fed five thousands with only two fish and five loads. Our pastor say two biscuits and five. He, uh, our pastor would say two, um, two sardines and five loaves of bread. Ah, we had faith, and he had faith, and he blessed it. God fed those 5,000. It was because he knew that, hey, we everybody got to eat, so we got to make this work. And he trusted in God and had faith and knew and believed, and it came through. They even had enough to have left over. Praise God. God multiplies. Abraham is mentioned several times in the Bible for some of the great things that he accomplished. Ah, but remains, but, but, but Romans 4 says that he was saved because of his faith. Ah, he was saved because of his faith, and it wasn't because of his works. I tell somebody, I can't be, it can't be done by your works. It just can't. It takes faith. It takes faith. Works, ah, it takes faith. It takes faith. Ah, works without faith is dead. It can't go by itself. You got to have faith along with those works because it ain't going to work unless you have faith. Hallelujah. Hebrews uh, says Abraham followed God, although he didn't, he wasn't even sure where he was going. Abraham is known as a man of faith who faithfully followed the Lord. Uh, Moses, Moses was born to the Hebrew family, but because the Jews were growing in numbers and strength, uh, the Pharaoh of Egypt ordered that all the male babies be killed. Moses was spared because his mother placed him in a basket on a river. Uh, the Pharaoh's daughter found the basket and rescued the baby uh, and raised it as her own. Moses grew up and as he grew up he learned of his own family as slaves Moses Moses choose to renounce his royal family ah and assist the Hebrew family he was banished from the kingdom God later called him back to Egypt ah to lead the Israelites from slavery and to the land promised to Abraham's family Moses didn't see himself as a man of God that could you that that God could use in such a way to do that task. Oh, however, however, somebody say however, through faith he led the Israelites as God desired. I'm almost finished yet, and then I'm a going on home. Ah, all through the Bible, people walk by faith. In fact, the Bible said that all died in faith, not having received the promise, but having seen them afar off. Ah, and we, we, and were persuaded of them uh, and embraced them, embraced them and confessed that they were strangers and pilgrims on the earth. I believe here at Agape Worldwide Ministry, Hallelujah. Pastor, the church is walking by faith and not by sight. 
Everybody ain't gonna understand what God give you. But a church, if you keep walking with the man of God, ah, you gonna see it at the end. Hallelujah. Ah, we gotta walk by faith and not by sight. No matter what your situation is, all your circumstances, you got to keep on holding on to God's unchanging hand. Always abounding in the work of the Lord. God wants to do a transition. God wants to shake up the people and let them know he's a God that sits high and looks low. He's a God that will show up and show out. So keep on trusting. Uh, he's the captain. He's the leader. He's the prince of peace. Keep on praying. Know that the Lord, he's the author and the finisher of your faith. Who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, sat down at the right hand uh, of the throne. I dare not trust in the sweetest frame. Oh, but holy is Jesus' name. Don't back down. Keep walking by faith. Keep being steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. Oh, the enemy going to try to come. He going to try to stop you. He going to try to block you with every attack that he got. But stand on faith. Keep on standing. Keep on standing. Keep on trusting. Keep on working. Keep on working. Keep on working. Don't stop. I can't stop now. I come too far. By faith. I ain't going to let nothing block me. I got to keep on. I got to keep on. I got to trust. I got to believe. I know that my faith is going to move some things. I know my loved ones are going to be saved. I know that God by faith healed my body. I know that God going to save my whole household. I know that God would do it. Ain't no secret what God can do. What he done for others, I know he going to do it for you. Oh, don't put no limits on God. Don't put no limits on God. Let him have his way. Let him have his way. Oh, praise God. How oh, he's worthy. Come on, give God some praise. Come on and praise him. He's worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy. Oh, Lord, we trust you. Oh, Lord, we trust you. We will bless your name at all times. And praise shall continuously be in our mouths. Oh, Lord, our God. Oh, Lord, our Redeemer. Hallelujah. He's worthy. Agape Worldwide Ministries and Pastor Renzo James Fields invite you to come worship with us in Springfield, Virginia. We're located 7240 FNG Budenite Drive in Springfield, Virginia. Call 703-372-1174. Agape Worldwide Ministries. Real love, real people, real church.